today we're going to be doing something a little different, a little spunky, just something that, well, I definitely have done on my channel before, but I haven't done it in a while, I guess. This is going to be basically just a reorganizing video of my photo collection. Originally, this was just going to be like a second channel video where I was just going to reorganize a couple things, I don't know, do a bunch of random shit. But then I realized I have a lot planned for this actually. So I thought, why not just make it a main channel video? You know, since I'm making so many significant changes to my collection, I thought it would be better for all of y'all to see all of the changes I'm making to my collection. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a lot of binder moving. Like I'm gonna be moving some collections in my big binders to like smaller binders and vice versa maybe, like smaller binders to bigger binders. We're gonna be setting up some new collections, um, sneak peek. We're gonna be also downsizing. Yeah, just a lot of like reorganizing in general. And coincidentally, since it's the springtime right around the corner, I thought it would be perfect to label this as spring cleaning. Yes, we are gonna be doing just a bunch of stuff. I am also gonna be filming this video in different parts because I, since I have a lot of shit to do, it would just be crazy for me to do all of it in one sitting. Like it'd probably take like forever. So I did technically film two parts of this video already. I just wanted to film an intro just so I can like have an intro. This is technically the third thing I'm doing in terms of filming, but the first thing I'll be doing in this video which is setting up a new collection. Um, already, I know, like I literally just set up for my La Seraphim collection not too long ago. But to be fair, that collection was in the works for like a couple months, you know? I didn't just like start it and finish it right away. But this collection, um, you guys already saw this coming too because I set this in one of my Kaddy hauls. But I will be setting up my new 5050 collection because I have seriously just fallen in love with 5050 as a group. Coincidentally enough, my coworker slash friend hosted a bunch of 5050 group orders. I basically bought like, <laughs> well, you can see by this very generous stack here, I am going to be starting my OT4 5050 collection. It originally wasn't going to be like that, but since I wanted to help my friend out, you know, that's the excuse I'm giving you guys. I just wanted to help my friend out because she has a lot of extra cards. So I ended up buying a, basically all of the photo cards from their debut album and also some POBs as well because she had some extras laying around. And yeah, so in this part, we're going to be setting up an A5 binder for them because I thought since they have four members, it'd be perfect to put in an A5 binder. And I also recently got this white A5 binder. These are the typical A5 binders that I use. You guys already know. I found one in white finally because I think before I was trying to find a white one, but they just didn't have it. So now that I have it, I thought it would be perfect for 50-50 since I feel like this white really like captures their essence, I guess. I think it'd look really nice in this binder. I have this because for the cover, I want to put like one of the IDs as decoration. So like I thought it'd be cool to put like I'm gonna put Aran's because Aran is my bias so I thought it'd be cool to put like her ID like this I don't know I thought it'd be really simple and cute the thing is though I swear on my life I had like vertical card holders like I literally have it for some of my other binders but I can't find them I can only find like the vertical ones so okay starting off we're gonna be doing something I I don't think I've ever done on this channel which is sleeving these photo cards. I usually sleeve everything off camera, but I thought it'd be fun to include a little sleeving photo cards montage in this video since it's all about reorganizing. So here's my like box of sleeves. I'm going to be double sleeving since it's going in an A5 binder. I thought it'd be nicer that way. So yeah, these are the, my smaller sleeves and my bigger sleeves. You can see the blue ones are from Dragon Shield and these ones are popcorn sleeves. I didn't notice how much of a blue hue it had. Yeah, we're basically gonna be double sleeving like this. If you wanna know like how I got into 5050, I did unbox their debut album in my latest Kaddy haul. So you can go ahead and check that out to like really get into detail about my 50-50 standing journey, but yeah, I'm really glad that they're getting a lot of recognition now from their latest release. Like, they are quickly escaping Nugudum already, so good for them. And that means there will be more 50-50 collectors, so hopefully it'll be easier to get some of their cards. Although I'm hoping that I can just get a lot of my cards from my friend like I did with this album. Thank God. She's literally like my savior for this because I feel like 50-50, like, 
during their debut era wasn't that easy to collect since not a lot of people were collecting them, especially for their POBs, you know, so yeah. I only, as you can tell, this is the Blue Dream Media photo cards. I guess I should be showing you, well, I'm sleeving all the cards so you guys are going to see all the cards anyways, but yeah, this is the Blue Dream Media POB set. This is basically the only set that's like a selfie set for POBs or fan sign cards at least. Um, I know there's like two other selfie cards but she didn't have extras of those so I just settled for these ones. But yeah I'm so glad she had a ton of extra for these. The only one I'm missing technically is Kina's other one. Like she unfortunately didn't have extras for her other one so I'm technically missing a Kina. I don't know if I'll be able to find it though. I'm not sure how easy that's gonna be but hopefully there's someone out there who's selling Kina's other photo card for this but they also by the time I'm releasing this video they haven't announced any at the time I'm filming this video they haven't announced any POB or fan sign events their company is just so weird and they just do things differently I guess so yeah my friend hasn't opened any group orders yet because you know they haven't announced anything yet so I mean one good thing I guess is that hopefully they might not have a lot of fan sign or POB events so that it'll be less collecting for me but on the con side it means my friend won't open any group orders i don't think she's gonna open a group order for like just the album in general so that means i'll have to try and collect it myself but again there are more and more 50 50 stands nowadays so hopefully that means i'll be able to get some of the cards more easily i think there's three oh i know i think there's six cards per member in the upcoming album so we'll see how easy that'll be I think I would just need to buy like three copies of each version, which I guess isn't too terrible. So yeah, we'll see. I mean, I did set myself up by deciding to collect OT4 for 5050. I originally was just going to collect Adon, but again, my friend had a bunch of extra cards, so yeah. <laughs> she basically instigated this financial decision. But yeah, all of the cards are so, so pretty. They're basically all from like the music video sets, so love that and i just love 50 50 their music is so good i really love all of the members they're so talented and i've been watching a lot of like 50 50 content lately so yeah i can't wait to embark on this journey and again i feel like an a5 binder is like perfect since there's four members okay i, don't, I wasn't planning on talking throughout my sleeving but i guess i'll just sleeve now All right, I also took out my original album pulls, but yes, here are all of the photo card sleeves now. I need to push out all the air bubbles. The thing about these cards though, is that they don't have like specific versions or anything. In fact, they didn't release album details at all for the debut album, which is just so strange. So yeah, like looking at the cards though, there isn't, there doesn't seem to be like perfect sets i'll lay everything out so yeah you can see like aran all of her photo cards are from this like are from the set of this is from the higher music video shio has like the widest variety like she literally has like each card is literally different and then kina's is also pretty different like she has higher login and just a random selfie and then uh tenna's is pretty much the higher mv it's like two and two so yeah i'm not too sure on how I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna like do it by vibes basically. I wish there were more photo cards with this outfit. This is my favorite outfit, the white outfits, but only Shio has a card for it so. And I know I can technically do like one page per member but I do want like member sets you know for each page so. Okay I split it up into sets. I'll as I'm putting the photo cards in I'll explain like my thought process for these. Oh shoot I need to look up the age order. I don't know the member order. <laughs> Hold on. Okay it's Hena, Kina, Shio, Adan. So let's put in our pocket pages. I hope I got enough out and I'm also putting enough binder pages for uh, Cupid as well. Although there could be other inclusions besides the photo cards that I'm forgetting about. So yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead and put these in. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm finally starting my 50-50 collection. Yay. Uh, all right, so for this one, a majority of the sets, Shio is pretty much the odd one out, I guess. So these ones, like you can see, they're all doing the similar poses. And also it's all like on the set of higher, except for Shio, but. 
This one is kind of like the odd one outset. So like, you know, this one's not a selfie. This one's just like random. This one's also kind of random. And yeah, basically the odd one outset. I guess I should put that set last, but whatever. Okay, again, they're kind of all doing something with their hand except for Shio. And the vibes, like the color scheme and stuff kind of match. I think this is from the Tell Me set or like Loving Me, whatever MV. <laughs> All right, and this one, they're doing this except for Shio once again. I mean, I guess that one is also kind of the odd one out, but at the same time, like, all of her photo cards are different, and this one is still, like, a higher... Oh, wait, no, this is from Lock-In. Whatever, that's just how it's gonna work. Okay, and then for the IDs... Oh my god, wait, they're all not facing the same way! Okay, all of the IDs... And then again, I pretty much just separated these Blue Dream Media photo cards by like vibes, if you will. I don't know. They're the only ones doing a peace sign in this, so. And again, I don't have Kina's other one. If someone's out there by the time they're watching this video is selling it, let me know for a good price. <laughs> But yes, anyways, and then I'm not gonna like set it up like with fillers and stuff yet. I just put the pages in there just for like reference, I guess. But yeah, let's do a quick little flip through. It looks so good in the white binder. All right, so that is it for the 50-50 binder. Let's move on to the next part. Okay, so this is gonna be the part of the video where I officially set up my new jeans binder because I said this before but I thought it would be nice to put my new jeans collection into my Muji binder like the one I have for my La Seraphim collection because there's five members and it looks a lot nicer that way. The way it's in my binder right now it's like very unsatisfying so yeah. I did go ahead and do the liberty of decorating the binder and what the hell? This is what we're working with. I basically just went through all of my albums and took out all the sticker sheets and I tried to do a cute little like sticker montage like I usually do but to be quite honest I don't love this actually. Uh, I basically just like went ham clearly and this is what we ended up with. Yeah I'm not loving it right now. Don't laugh at me I know this is kind of ugly but you know what? <laughs> this is what we're working with, okay? I'm just gonna think of this as like a temporary binder, you know? Because I feel like I might have to get like another binder because this binder is pretty thin or like I might move to a different binder. Who knows? So this is not permanent. Just gonna tell myself that. Maybe I'll learn to love it. But anyways, I did already put all the pages that I needed. And yeah, we have the template here because in my binder right now, it's super messy. This is currently the situation. Yeah, a lot of cards because they always give, you know, a lot of cards and I got their season's greetings as well. I first split it up by like members like this and then um, that's when I decided to get the Muji binder. So for OMG, oh maybe, oh yeah, okay, so I put it, I went off a template and I Put it in order, I think. So this is like Weavers A and then Weavers B, C. So yeah, that's nice. But for the New Jeans album, I definitely have to like reorganize everything. So I'm going to do that in a time lapse. Okay, everything is organized now. I just realized though that I have to switch the sleeves for these because this is Dragon Shield and I have to use the skinny sleeves. And also I remember that for these Muji binders, I like to sleeve them upside down and I sleeved all of these cards like this. So I need to flip every single one of these cards as well. Fun. Oh my goodness, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> All 
right, I finally finished organizing, re-sleeving, flipping the sleeves. It's all up there. And now it's time to put everything in. The more that I look at this binder cover, the more I hate it. <laughs> oh my god, it just looks so freaking messy. I know that's kind of the vibe, but like, I literally thought of this after, but I should have done that sort of thing where you make the stickers not touch each other. So it's like a little like Tetris puzzle thing. So none of the stickers are touching. I should have done that. I feel like that would have looked cooler, but whatever, it's too late. <laughs> the thing is, I don't know if I should like, cause there's five cards for everything, you know? But I don't know if for like the member version albums, I should put like the member sets like this or like one of each member. So it's like the whole group. I've been seriously debating. Cause like, obviously I like to keep all the versions together, but also like, since it's five members, I think for now I'm just gonna keep it like, versions so Okay, I am finally finished storing all of the cards. Binder is pretty damn full already. But yes, let's go ahead and do like a very quick flip through. Luckily the debut album cards fit pretty well. And then for this, um, the thing is for the debut album, there are two group versions, right? Because there's the bag version and then there's the new jeans version. But for OMG, there was only one group version technically. So for this page, I use the I use the POBs that I got. And then it gets a little fuzzy towards the end. Like you can see, since there's five members, I have an extra gap right here. I wanted to put these cards together, these like weavers group card thingy so yeah I might maybe get like another POB set 
I don't know, honestly. Like, I don't really collect POPs for new jeans, but I don't want this to be empty. You know, I want it to be an OMG thing, so I'm not sure. Also, I just remembered that I had these blank cards from when I used to use these as fillers, so these fit perfectly as, like, blank cards. And then we have all of their, like, um, season's greetings. I know... Technically, I could put this, like, where the Hyang cards are so that, you know, it fills up the page nicely, but I feel like it's too random, you know? I don't want, like, OMG and then Seasons Greetings, so I just put these here on their own page for now. But yeah, that's it for this binder. All right, this part of the video is going to be me reorganizing my 127 set binder, A5 binder, I guess. Today, we are going to be attacking this because, erm... Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't even close this properly, so we are definitely gonna move this to an A5, another A5 binder. I know a lot of people would be like, why don't you just move it to a nine pocket binder, like a regular binder if it's this full at this point? Because I don't want to. So I don't know, I guess it just makes more sense for this to be an A5 binder for me personally. I did end up getting another Pokemon binder because these Pokemon binders are very very thick. They come with their own pocket pages and they have a zipper too so it can like completely close shut. This time I got a little Eevee design which is so cute. I am going to be um, obviously putting all the cards away. This is from the DI concept which I opened in my k Addy haul. I'm gonna put it away in this video because I have way too many cards for my next storing photo card video and if I were to put everything in that video, the video would be like two hours long, which I know some of y'all would want, but for me personally, I can't do that. So we're going to put all of the D-Icon cards because they're all sets. We're also going to put away some like other set cards that I have and we're also obviously going to be moving all this stuff out of this binder. We also have to re-sleeve everything pretty much because even though technically Dragon Shield or like standard photo card sleeves fit in this pocket page, it's a lot harder to put in. Like I struggle a lot with my 17 binder, so I'm just going to switch it to like the skinnier sleeves. But we're going to go ahead and obviously start by taking all of this out and re-sleeving it. I don't know what I'm going to use this binder for now. I'll, I definitely will have a use for it. Let's evict these cards. Everything is finally organized. Damn, sleeves are so sharp, like the corners. I feel like my hands got stabbed like a thousand times. But anyways, we can go ahead and start putting this shit away. I guess the one thing that sucks about these Pokemon binders is that it doesn't lay completely flat. So like as I'm putting the cards away, it's like... So I'm going to start with album cards and I'm just going to go ahead and store these. I'm gonna like speed it up, but it's not gonna be an actual time lapse because I feel like every time I do a time lapse, it makes the clip like 30 seconds short. I mean, long. Literally, no matter how long I, I film a time lapse for, it always shortens it to like 20 to 30 seconds, which I think is, I feel like it's kind of short sometimes. So that means I need to just film it regularly and just speed it up later while I'm editing it. So it's like a little longer, but yeah. Also for the member order, I'm doing it by like leader first and then the age order because I know technically Tayer would be before. All of my photo cards are organized that way and I don't want to like switch everything. So yeah, just an FYI. I know Taeyong would technically be like after Johnny, but I'm doing it by like leader order, I guess, you know, kind of like BTS. Oh, also I did finish the Digipack photo cards, you can tell. So I'm putting them away now. Same with the AO cards. I know I just unboxed AO, but so I'm going to be organizing this binder. I'm just going to go ahead and put everything away right now. Oh my god, I just realized I finished this entire page. Yer.
Okay, I'm finally finished. Oh my god, wait. Uh-oh. Wait, okay, I don't think all the cards can fit in here, actually. Hold on. Yeah, wait. What the fuck? Oh my god. It does- Oh shit, I keep hitting the camera. It does technically close. It's literally about to explode, though. Yeah, like, what am I supposed to do with these? So... Oh my god, I think I just need to get another Pokemon, a third Pokemon bike. Oh my god, I did. I honestly didn't think I had this many NCT cards. It's mainly because of the D-Icon stuff, you know? Like, I did get a second D-Icon set, so this was kind of a fail already. I think I'm just gonna have to get another Pokemon binder, so I'll probably see you in another clip where I have a new Pokemon binder. My new A5 binder is here. This time I got a Jigglypuff design. Again, so cute. And as expected, it comes with more of these pages, which I genuinely don't need. I think for now I might just take these out. Like, look at how many they give you. I guess that's a good thing. But the thing is, since this is a three ring binder, I can't use this for my like A5 binders and I don't need any more pages. I have like well more than enough so who wants to buy these <laughs> i'm just kidding i'll probably have a use for those later here's the overstuffed binder i don't know exactly how i'm gonna like separate this maybe i should give the d icon cards their own page because like they already have too many goddamn cards so mm -hmm -hmm. let me try and take out everything but the d icon stuff first Okay, yeah, even with just the D-Icon stuff, this is well more than enough. So I guess this will just be like a D-Icon dedicated binder, which I know seems kind of unnecessary to have. And also the fact that like the D-Icon thing already comes with a binder. <laughs> I hate those binders. The binders suck and they're ugly. So as for the rest of these quads, we are going to go ahead and slip them in here. Pretty plain and simple. You know what, since I have nowhere else to put them, I'm just gonna put like some of the extra pages back here, just as extra storage. Like I genuinely don't know where to put those extra pocket pages. But okay, now both of my binders aren't like overstuffed. Yay, now I have three Pokemon binders. It probably would have been way smarter to like <laughs> just put these in nine pocket pages, you know, in a bigger binder. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, that was probably a smarter move. But you know what? This is just an excuse for me to get these cute-ass Pokemon binders. I just want to dedicate this to, like... I already have so many NCT binders, and I want to dedicate, like, these Pokemon binders to, like, sets. So, yeah, that's how I'm doing it. Don't judge me. Okay, so the next step in this organization video is basically a bunch of binder moving. Like, I made this so complicated for myself, but I finally figured it out. So basically, I wanted to expand my Vernon and NCT Dream collections because the binders are getting pretty full. Same with my Mark Big Inclusion binder, which is also getting pretty full. So this may seem really confusing, but first I'm going to move Vernon into a bigger binder. I think this is a one and a half inch binder, which is definitely like 
too small for him now. So I'm gonna move into this big old binder. I think this might be a three inch, so like literally twice the size. And then this binder is gonna be my new Mark Big Inclusion binder, because I think for my Big Inclusion binder, it's one inch and this is a one and a half inch. So it'll get a bigger size. And then my old Big Inclusion binder is gonna be my new NC Dream binder for like miscellaneous photo cards because I want to split it because it's getting too full. So yeah, that may have seemed really confusing, but you guys will see it, obviously. I did buy an extra binder though. Like, I don't know what I bought this for. I think maybe I was going to like move a collection to this binder, but I already have everything figured out. Maybe I should move the big inclusions to this binder because this is a two inch binder. Also, I'm not sure if I showed this on camera before, but this is my new mark cover that I spontaneously made one night. I did post this on my Instagram actually, but yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out. Good thing I did that instead of like, can you imagine if I stuck all the stickers on the binder directly? That would suck. All right, we have to take everything out of here. This should be fun. Ta-da! Brand new home. This is the old Vernon binder. I feel like this is more than enough room. It doesn't need the two inches actually, so let me try putting the big inclusions in the one and a half inch. Or maybe this is a two inch, honestly. I genuinely don't remember what sizes these are. <laughs> Now everything's in here. There is still plenty of room. I don't get too many big inclusions, I guess. It's mainly from merch. So yeah, whatever. I'll have to find a way to decorate this too. <laughs> okay, so now this binder is gonna be my second dream binder because uh, this binder is clearly getting full and I wanna like split my miscellaneous NCT cards with my sets that I have here. So these are pretty much all the sets and then these are all of the miscellaneous cards. I don't get like too many of them so I don't need like a huge binder for these. Now let's see how full the binder is. Oh yeah, see? Look at how much extra space there is. And I won't, I definitely will not be like, you know, collecting that much that quickly. <laughs> I think we're good just making this the binder for now. It's better than buying a new binder, you know? Gotta reuse what we've got. Yeah, there's clearly more than enough space for this. I just needed to expand my dream binder a little bit. I'll probably just end up changing these, taking out these stickers and putting like dream here or something. Cause I still like these decorations. I think it's still cute. Okay, it's whatever day it is for this. The next part of this video is gonna be me, I guess mainly downsizing. Cause I'm gonna be moving a lot of like collections in some of my bigger binders to these A5 binders. Cause I feel like it's like a perfect way of me downsizing and like limiting myself, you know, because that way I can only collect, you know, like maybe one page per album slash era. So it's like four photo cards or since it's a smaller binder, I can't fill it up as much. Otherwise, it's going to get too full really quick. So yeah, this is kind of like a way of me downsizing. Actually, for two of these, they're getting an upgrade because they're in collect books right now. The main purpose of this is, you know, to downsize a bit slash expand. I don't know. But anyways, we have four A5 binders here. I'm technically planning on making five new A5 binders, but I just bought another one and that's gonna arrive tomorrow. So that'll probably be like the last part of this video since I'm basically done after this. But yes, these are like old A5 binders. You can see like it has like all the 
deco on it because I've used these binders for other things, but now they're empty for these collections to go in. So the collections that are going to go in these A5 binders are Vivi's, Billy, Kepler, AT's, and then for the extra binder that's going to come in soon, that's going to be for an hypen. And I will get into it while I'm setting it up. So I think first we are going to start with Vivi's or BBG, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm officially going to upgrade Vivi's to an A5 binder because as you can see, even in this thick ass collect book, I mean, it could fit a couple more things, but after unboxing their latest release, I definitely need to put them in a bigger binder. Um, I only collect albums for Vivi's and these are just my pulls basically. They the thing is they're very generous with their photo cards, which is a good thing obviously, so it adds up super quickly. So yeah, it's basically like a selective OT3 collecting because I just, I don't collect a specific member, I just keep my pulls, which is all three of them. Before anyone offers, I'm not buying any Vivi's cards or anything, this is just gonna be my, like my album pulls, so it's not, so that's why it's like a selective slash like casual collection, you know, because like I'm not actually like collecting them, but I am. I don't know, but you get what I mean. So first I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of the photo cards from the collect book. Like see, this this is literally all from their first album and their first album only had two versions. This is how generous they are. Like look at that stack, that's crazy. And then we have a uh, Summer Vibe, which is their second comeback. This one I only bought the two photo book versions and one jewel case. I mean, I guess it includes like K-Town for you POVs as well, but still, it's a lot of stuff. I forgot I had these in here. And should I, should I put various away? I don't know, we'll see where this video takes us, but we are gonna, oh, I should, oh my God, since they have unit cards and since this has a horizontal thing, I can put a unit card in here. That's literally perfect. I didn't even plan that, but that works out perfectly. Look at how many unit cards they give though. Let me like take out all the unit cards I have though. I mean, not. I keep saying unit because I'm so used to calling them unit cards, but they're technically, you know, group cards because it's all of them. <gasps> Wait, that like Barbie card kind of looks perfect. Okay, no, I think I'm gonna put that pink card because it matches. So this will be my new Vivi's cover. Ta-da! Isn't that perfect? Love that. So I'm also gonna go ahead and unsleeve the cards and put them in the bigger sleeves because I actually am kind of running out <laughs> of these thinner sleeves so since it's going in this binder might as well move them to these bigger sleeves which I have a lot more of so yeah I don't want to buy new sleeves already. I finished sleeving everything and I was trying to like plan how I was gonna organize this while I was sleeving. And I think what I'm gonna do, cause it kind of seems to work out that way, is I'm gonna like put like sets of them together. Like obviously it's not like perfect sets cause you know, I'm not trading or buying anything extra and I plan on keeping it that way. I don't wanna like work extra hard on this collection if you know what I mean, it's just the album casual collection. So yeah, I'm basically just working with what I have. So I'm gonna like put uh, you know, like three of them, like matching sets, something like this, as close as I can, and then an extra unit card to fill up the page, and then, yeah, I mean, you'll see, I guess. Um, hopefully it works out like that for various, because, again, like, it just depends on my pulls. The thing is, though, I was about to put, put various away right now, but I realized that this video is gonna come out before I open those albums, so, like, no spoilers, I guess, so, yeah, that's gonna be my next Kaddy haul, which will come out I have no idea, probably like April or something. So I do want to separate it by like eras, you know? So I don't want to just like put like all the members cards together, which is probably what I would usually do. But for this purpose, since it's four pages, I don't know, I, I think it just works out like this the best. So like this, for example, and then I'll just grab like a group card. Um, which one matches the best? I'll just go with this one. It doesn't have to be a perfect match. But yeah, and then this is the k Town For You P.O.B. set, I believe. Oh wait, no, this is the P.O.B. set, my bad. This, these are just another album set, okay. 
I know this is the same outfit, but this is also the same outfit. I'll just go with this one. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and then this is the K-Ton for you. And then these are just like extra cards. So these are like the Lentis. And then I know there's a space missing. Maybe I'll get an extra card, like an extra unit or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Okay, and then we have Summer Vibe. This one kind of works out perfectly, especially with the unit that I put as the cover, which you'll see in a sec. This one is the K-Town for You set. There are a lot more cards for various though, because I got like all the versions that they released, plus some extra like POB stuff. So yeah, and then these are the extra cards that I pulled. And then since I have these heart inclusions out, might as well, oh, I forgot to sleeve these another time. I'm double sleeving it because so that it like stays, you know what I mean? So yeah, with these, it fills up the page nicely. Yay! So yeah, this is kind of the vibe that I'm going for. Ta-da! So this will be my new various, I mean, VV's binder, and it'll definitely fill up a lot more, especially after various, which will be soon, hopefully. Next collection I'm going to work on is Billy. Okay, so this one's going to be Billy because I decided that I really want to, like, limit a lot of my group, my collections, you know? So Billy is going to be one of them because, <laughs> like, I always have to deal with so many damn comebacks at a time because I just collect and stand so many groups. So I decided to, like, cool it a bit with Billy. Like, March and April is such a stacked month. Oh my god, it's going to be insane. Billy is one of those groups as well. <laughs> And what I'm planning on doing for Billy is my friend Mav opens a bunch of group orders and we kind of communicated a bit and he's going to open at least like three group orders, which is going to be perfect for me. So I'm just going to join his like group orders and get like one of each version through like three group orders. So I can get like shun POVs and get things sorted so I don't have to worry about trading and stuff. So I don't even know if you needed to hear all that, but oh yeah. Okay. Everything is sleeved, thankfully. So I'll go ahead and just like take out all of these cards first. I mean, I guess technically by like joining my friend's group order, I'm still in a way collecting like all of Shun's cards. Cause like if I, if things are sorted and I end up getting all of Shun's cards, then I guess it works out that way. But I mean, if there's going to be like more cards than the album, I mean, actually each album still comes with like, if you buy an album set, you can still complete one member. But if it's a scenario where it's like, that's not the case where it's like, oh, I need to buy like two albums to complete one member set. Then I'm not going to buy like two albums. I'm just going to buy like one album and whatever I pull is just going to be whatever I collect, basically. Or like enough to fill up a four pocket page, if you know what I mean. I honestly might end up selling the, all of these extra Billy cards. I feel like I don't really need them. I should, again, just focus on Shun, so. But don't hit me up yet. I will sell these at my own time. Or maybe someone, if someone wants to host a group order <laughs> for all of these extra Billy cards, you can let me know. But yeah, I guess I'll have to make that decision later. All right, so we have all of the cards taken out. Okay, most of these work out kind of perfectly. A lot of these have like four cards, except for this one, their latest, the previous comeback. This has six cards and I know I can put like the Polaroids and stuff but I'm planning on putting like all of the Polaroids together this also kind of works out perfectly I don't collect all of the Polaroids for them so and then these are just like my extra POBs I think I'm gonna use this one as the cover and then I'm still gonna get more POBs from like group orders and stuff so I don't know we'll see how this goes for the most part it works well but see like a lot of their cards have like a green-esque to them so I feel like green works well Okay, that was not even in frame, I'm sorry. Okay, let's start putting cards away and then we'll figure things out as we go. So yeah, like 
again in this scenario actually no again i already mentioned it never mind like i i pretty much traded all of these cards with my friend mav because he had a bunch of extras but like again like if there was a case where oh shit i didn't put the right versions if this was the case i would have just limited myself to like four cards probably instead of collecting all six. Oh my god i did this terribly or maybe i can just like go like this i'll just put it on the back then because all the backs look the same anyway so who cares because i have these cards right now so like might as well i know i can sell them technically but i don't really feel like it <laughs> extras i'll leave them in here for now but again if anyone wants to host someone with like in the u.s and has group order experiences i'm kind of picky with who i want to like let host my geo so if you want to host a billy geo let me know don't come at me if this is not an age order because it's probably not <laughs> Oh my god, wait, it ends literally perfectly. <gasps> Whoa! Didn't even plan that. Hell yeah. <gasps> oh my god! The L holders fit in these pockets! <gasps> I've been holding the onto these L holders for such a long time. They've just been like sitting on my desk, but I can put them in here. <gasps> wait, game changer. I don't know why I'm so like excited about this. Ear, ear, wow. Oh my god, that's like triple sleeved right now. Oh damn it, it sucks that I only have three though. Cause like it would have been cool if it was four, but I don't know. Sorry, I just wanted to use these. <laughs> Yo, that is so cute. I'm just gonna do that, cause why not? All right, final flip through, let's go. Yeah, they started off by having like, wait, maybe I don't even have all the album cards or maybe I do, I don't know. But I know for this one, I don't, but it kind of works out perfectly. Okay, yay, looking nice. Next group we're gonna attack is Kepler. So yeah, like, I feel like Kepler is, like, not as fun collecting. I mean, to be fair, it's not like they're super difficult or anything. I'm just not personally enjoying, like, collecting everything for them. But I still do want to, like, collect them. So yeah, I feel like I shouldn't have started collecting two members either, but oh well. So yeah, for Kepler, I'm still going to collect Yujin and Hikaru, but I think I might... Like, from now on, I think I might- Oh my god, this binder is so, like, empty now. I took out, like, all the groups that were in here. Shit, I might as well combine my girl group binders again. I think I might do it where it's, like, you two Yujin cards, two Hikaru cards, or, like, one page of Yujin, one page of Hikaru. We'll see how, like, the future of them collecting-wise is. Also, since they're a temporary group, I feel like it's better to put them in an A5 binder like I do with like other temporary groups like I did with Eyes One. Not to like bring the mood down, but I need to think like ahead. So this is a really cute card with the elephant. So I'm gonna use this. And it's like yellow vibes. Yay. Oh wait, I should take out all the photo cards first. Like, you can see, I haven't even finished Dub Last, and I haven't even, like, started working on it, really. And they're already on Troubleshooter, and that's why I feel like it's better to put them in an A5 Boinder. And, I mean, I don't really collect, like, expensive members either. Like, Yujin and Hikaru aren't... Like, if I really, like, wanted to go out and, like, actually buy their photo cards, the photo cards aren't even that expensive. I just don't really feel like collecting everything. I don't know, there's just, like, some lulls that I have in collecting. And especially when I'm, like, super busy collecting a bunch of other groups. Like, if I had, like, if I was bored with collecting and there was, like, nothing to collect, then I would be, like, obviously working on it. But I'm already working on so many other collections. Oh, my God. Fuck no, baby. Oh, no. Fuck no, baby. Guess what fucking happened again? <laughs> I just never learned my lesson. Uh, so I ran out of storage and it stopped filming at a certain point. 
damn. And I was literally like, I took out a bunch, I took out all my Hikaru cards, I was taking out all these sets, and I was literally going on a little tangent about like downsizing and like the internet, and I was just really getting into it. And of course, none of it got caught on camera. So Ugh. it's okay. I was just taking out cards, but I, I'll just summarize because I'm almost done. I was saying how like, people really like scrutinize downsizing, you know, like especially as a content creator and not to toot my own horn, but like a content creator with a lot of eyes on me, like a lot of a big audience, you know, like people, it's just so, I don't know, like when people literally get like mad at me or like frustrated with me when I don't like collect a certain group or like when I don't collect like everything for a group or when I don't buy certain things, I have had people be like, literally upset with me about it i'm just like it's my money it's my collection you know like i appreciate you enjoying my content and like living vicariously through it that's what i'm here for but like at the you gotta realize that like i am a human being sometimes <laughs> believe it or not like i'm not just like an ai robot sitting in my room all day just working on k-pop photo cards and stuff like i have a life you know I'm an actual human, believe it or not, so I see your words and I see how it affects me and I've seen like my friends be like, or like just content creators in general, be affected by these words and how like people scrutinize downsizing and stuff and doing things to their own personal collection to the point where like they don't share everything anymore, or they don't like post like certain things about their collections anymore because they have had to deal with that and that does suck so just don't think of downsizing as like a hate campaign i guess like that's not what it equates to it's just personal decisions financial decisions whatever at the end of the day it's our collection you know and you doing stuff with your collection is great too because again it's your collection so yeah i don't know like i was i i feel like i, I worded that better in my previous footage where it wasn't deleted so yeah, I don't know. Anyways, back to this. This video is long enough. We don't need another tangent from me, but we'll go ahead and start putting away the cards in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and like see how this is gonna work out. I might also end up like selling these like extra cards, maybe? I seriously don't know. I feel like these two work together. So yeah, I might just do it like this then and maybe sell these extra cards, question mark. I don't know. Ooh, I should, I should use this as the cover. See, like, I only have four cards for Dub Blast now, so that's, that's that. <laughs> and then for Troubleshooter, maybe I should, oh wait, no, I have two more cards right here. <laughs> Oh, I have this too. Okay, fuck. Okay. So yeah, I think this might be it for Troubleshooter. And then since I have these like extra cards, I'll just like stick them in the back. Oh, actually, yeah. You know what? It's just one card. I'll just like stick it in the back here. Sorry if you wanted to buy that card. Oh my god, I put these pages upside down. How embarrassing. And I guess these will be like extra non-album related cards that I get of Eugen that I just sometimes sporadically get. And then I know I have one more Hikaru card on the way from a trade, so I'll leave like a spot for that. Oh wait, actually never mind, I have these two cards too. So that'll just go in the back, probably. Oh my god, I keep forgetting about the clear card. Okay, I feel like I should just give Hikaru another page. <laughs> eh, whatever.
of his A5 binder is like actually getting kind of full now. So maybe that's a sign to like downsize it even more. Like these extra Kepler cards. Gonna host a group order. <laughs> okay, oh wait, I should do a flip through. Do a quick little flip through. Of the new Kepler binder. There's still a lot actually. Who knows how many more comebacks they'll have. And then the last one for, I, I guess, this recording session, because I still have one more A5 binder to go. This one is going to be for my Mingi collection. So in case you haven't noticed already, I pretty much, like, upgraded my ATs collection back to, like, casual album collecting. And the thing is, like, for the album cards that I pull, if I don't pull Mingi, then I'm going to try and, like, trade for him, I guess. So, like, it's, like, kind of collecting Mingi, but, like, I'm not going to, like you know, stress out if I can't find a trade or I'm not going to buy additional albums or whatever to try and like complete his set. So just whatever I can get is what I'll collect basically because I just love ATs too much clearly. So yeah, and he's getting too full to be in a collect book. So I'm going to put him back to an A5 binder. Just a big journey with my ATs collection. I mean, I'm going to like resume the collection. I'm not going to because I don't have I think I don't have epilogue and movements, but I'm not gonna like go back and buy them just for the sake of completing it. I'm just gonna like, it was just like a hiatus and now I'm back. <laughs> Starting with a uh, witness. And then there's no cover for this. So I'm just gonna start. Ow. Oh my God. Kind of left a dent in there. Sorry if I triggered you with that, but oh. Oh, now the sleeve wants to come out? Oh, now you want to come out. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. After you made me, like, slightly damage that card. Whoops. Okay, I'm also gonna have to, like, take out all these cards and re-sleeve them. So I will quickly do that. I've officially sleeved everything. This is definitely not enough pages. Oh my god, these are the last of my pages. <laughs> Shit, I can't believe I have to buy more. Damn, I used to have an overflow of these, but now... Oh my god. Okay, sorry, my mom interrupted me, but these are the last of my pages, so I hope they make it just for... I have the Inhypen! <gasps> oh no, what am I gonna do? And I have to get these pages from Mercari Japan. So I don't want to get like other kinds of pages. I like these Amifa pages. I'll figure it out later. Like right now I'm a little busy because my mom's like calling me and shit and I have to like eat dinner soon and whatever. But okay, let's not think about that right now. <laughs> oh, it's just those stupid pages that come with the Pokemon binder. They don't fit these. Like, I mean, I guess I can hole punch extra pages, but also I don't like those pages either. They don't really fit. Like, th this is literally my ideal size for pocket pages. So, and I guess I could double side it, but like, I do like looking at the backs low key. So I don't feel like double siding it. I know that's a solution, but fuck that. <laughs> Am I right? Also these, my Mingi cards used to be in an A5 binder actually. So I think it kind of works out. Actually, no, it doesn't. It's like already going to the next era, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I also need to leave like space for my, what is it? Witness photo cards, because I do have a lot of them coming in because I've been doing some trading for those, so. Oh god, I need to keep that in mind. Maybe I should just put like my extra cards and like keep it in the collect book maybe? So, so that I can just dedicate these A5 binders to the members that I actually collect. Maybe I should do that. If I, if all else fails for my Enhypen collection when it's time to like organize those. I mean, obviously I'm gonna buy more like pages, but those aren't gonna arrive until like a month or two later, you know, cause it's going to my uh, proxy first, so. Yeah, also, why do I have these group cards? Like, I don't know why I'm putting...
putting these away. These could stay in the albums. But I have them out, so why not? They don't even do these group cards anymore, do they, right? I don't think they do. So there really is no point. I have a whopping two pages extra. Let's hope my collection stays fit in this, right? Okay, but anyways, ATs is officially back in the A5 binder. Yeah, I mean, I've never stopped liking ATs. Again, it's just like I had to like downsize at the time, but they're back. Okay, I think I pretty much did everything except for the Inhypen one. I actually decided on the Inhypen one today. I thought of it today while I was like updating my card. So yeah, that's why like it's, I'm not prepared for it. But I guess the last clip will be of me finishing, I mean, reorganizing my Inhypen collection. Okay, also a really quick update. I forgot to mention this, but two things have happened. So first, I finally did get my extra ID card from my friend so this is officially the new cover here i like the simplicity of this so and then this was actually my it well it used to be my miscellaneous binder and then i turned it into my trade sale binder and then after like taking out all the pocket pages because i needed it i made this my ats binder because i feel like it fits the best so yeah and it has the decoration so might as well and then I use this photo card as the cover. Just wanted to do a quick little update. <laughs> All right, we're officially on the last part of this video, which is gonna be a lot more changes than I thought it was gonna be. So yes, I'm gonna move my some of my Inhypen collection to this A5 binder. But then I realized that after that, technically this binder only has Inhypen in it and like some of my bigger TXT photo cards, which is like not that much. So obviously if I take out two members, this binder is going to be pretty empty so what i'm also going to do is this extra binder that i have i think i'm going to move my j and my woods collection together because woods has his own binder but it's a one inch binder and it's getting like full already you know might as well move them together you know so yeah i know i'm doing a lot of binder moving and stuff but i guess that's the point of this video right so yes first of all this was the binder i was talking about i got it in a couple days ago and it's this deep blue color and this is how i decorated it cute and then i also got more pages because I remember that I have another A5 binder that has all of the photo cards that I'm selling and trading and it had all of these binder pages so I just took out all the cards and put them in like tin cases like somewhere else so now I have more binder pages although I did go on Mercari Japan and buy more pocket pages already so basically what I'm gonna do with my Inhypen collection is I currently collect three members Ugh, this is so sad because it's not that I don't want to collect Jake and Tungun anymore like that that's why I've been like debating this for so long because I do want to collect all three of these members still but realistically speaking three members is a lot and I still haven't even finished manifesto day one like I'm scared for their next comeback I'm still ugh, yeah it just takes way too long so I think I'm just gonna focus on collecting Jay's cards only for like everything and then for Jake and Sungun, I'm gonna move them to an A5 binder so that I can do that A5 binder rule again where it's like I, I might collect only like four cards per era for Jake and Sungun. So, because I, again, I still do want to collect them. It's just realistically, I need to like downsize a lot more. Like I'm trying to like actually like downsize and let go. So even though I'm not selling any of these cards, first I'll go ahead and like, oh wait, no, I need to take out all the cards first, duh. So yes, this is the binder that Inhypen was in. So I will obviously continue to collect J. So I'll go ahead and take out like, all of these cards i also oh shit i okay i have all these extra cards as well but i can just move them into like the other binder with woods like i was planning on doing but for now i'll go ahead and take out all of these cards Alright, everything has been taken out. I had to re-sleeve a couple of these because a lot of my older cards were in Ultra Pro sleeves, which I don't want. Okay, now I'm kind of scared because there's actually a lot of cards in here and uh, this is a small binder. So is it even smart to put two members in here? <laughs> I feel like one member would be more than enough, but oh well. <gasps> oh no, one of the stickers fell off. No, get back. 
there. I think what I might do is instead of separating it by member, I might like put like the matching cards together, you know? So it's like uh, Jake, Sungun, Jake, Sungun, blah, 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 blah. So starting off with border day one. So like, so like this, you know? I feel like it'd be perfect, you know, since for an A5 binder. And I pretty much do like have all of their cards, so I feel like it'll be better to do it that way. And I can do that from now on, like basically get the matching cards so they could sit together like this. I'm also debating on like maybe double signing. I mean, I don't think that that wouldn't really affect like the thickness of the binder because obviously it's going to be the same amount of cards, but we'll see. Oh shoot, this doesn't end perfectly because there's three. <gasps> okay, since they're just lenticulars, I think I might just put it on the back so that it ends perfectly. So that's more visually pleasing. And these are just lenticulars, like who cares, Okay, I don't have a lot of Jake's cards right now. They are like technically on the way or I haven't stored them yet. I'm gonna take out a template just in case. Okay, this is the template I found. This is not updated by the way. The only cards I'm technically missing are this Jake card and this Hungun. So I guess if someone has those cards, let me know because I've been trying to find them. And yeah, I don't have a lot of, oh, oh wait, I literally have the fillers for them still. I don't know why I just took out the fillers when I could literally use them. All right, I mean, it's not, I mean, actually, yeah, it is pretty full. You know what? If I have to separate them when the time comes, I'll do that later. But for now, we stored all the cards and I'll probably have to like take things a little slower, you know? Maybe I'll just collect one page per era. So it's like two cards per member. Depends on the era, how much I like the era and how cute the cards are. So there's these three extra cards because I pulled these two from the Japanese album. And in this one, I think someone gifted this to me or we traded for this. I'm not sure, but which one shall be Zik Hover? Kind of feeling this card. Let's go ahead and do our final flip through. I mean, the backs aren't even that interesting either, so maybe I should double side. Well, actually, no, never mind, because there's those cards too, but yeah. I like how the concepts like match for some of these albums, like, and these are the target cards. I just stuck them back there. Like most of the cards fit perfectly in a four pocket page because they usually do like two concepts. I mean, two photo cards per concept, so kind of perfect honestly like see they look so good together all right and then ask for the rest of this stuff so i'm gonna empty out this mine or i mean technically i can put woods in here too but i feel like i'm gonna eventually have to like move the binder because it's gonna get pretty full you know woods does have a lot of cards and i still don't have like all of woods's cards my woods binder will cease to exist i mean it's already pretty full, so who knows how long, how many cards he's gonna have for his future eras. I guess this, I guess this will be my second boy group binder. I know technically Woods is a soloist and not a boy group, but he was in a boy group at one or two points actually. So yeah, it's fine. Male artists, if you will. So yeah, and I'll still put my bigger TXT cards in there.
Yeah, I also don't really collect non-album stuff for Jay anymore. I tried to make that a goal, but I, again, have too many collections to worry about, so... I'm trying not to buy, like, non-album stuff for groups besides, like, you know, my serious collections, like Mark, Vernon, Yoonjin, pretty much, so... Yeah, I put a pause to, like, non-album stuff for Jay. It's very tempting at times, but... Yeah, so this is my new second boy group slash male artist binder. It has Woods and Hypen and a bit of TXT. And obviously we're not gonna let this binder go to, I mean, this cover go to waste. So I'm just gonna use it. All right. And with that, I think that concludes this video. Oh, I guess I can do one more thing. So earlier in the video, we moved some of my Mark stuff. And now that this officially has a home, I do have a decal. This is technically a light stick decal. I bought this from a seller from Mercari Japan and they have a bunch of cute like NCT decals and stuff and they had a bunch of cute Mark ones. I'm just gonna put this decal here now. The way I'm using uh, the Weaver's card for this, it's okay. I have like four of these, so it's fine. On that note, we've officially done our K-pop spring cleaning. I know this is like kind of a different video. Actually, not really. I organize my photo card binders a lot, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this, you know? A lot of decisions have been made in this video. I know, sorry if you're disappointed, but again, it's my collection. Just remember that. I actually do have a lot more like photo card organizing videos planned. Like I think I'm gonna post like three in a row. So sorry about that. Um, I have this video and then my next video is probably gonna be a storing photo card video because I haven't done one of those in a long time. And then the video after that, I'm actually planning on doing something special, the storing photo card videos. So it might be two weeks in a row. So you guys are getting three weeks, basically a month of photo reorganizing videos. So don't get bored of me, hee <laughs> hee. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. Here are some of my current jams and... Yeah, that's it. Okay, love you guys. Bye.